I had doll houses, Barbies, and race cars. And that still pretty much sums it up today. <laughs> Welcome to Dollhouse Beautiful. Hi, I'm Nicole Fuller. I have chose to chrome my dollhouse. This is inspired by a couple of my favorite artists. One is Doug Aiken and his mirrored houses that he's built in the desert. And it's, it's built to sort of become one with nature and reflect the outside in and feel in perfect harmony. This dollhouse went all the way to Pennsylvania to get its special chrome effect, and it came out really beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Let's start decorating. We created in the top floor an art and music studio, which has mirrored sides, which really kind of opens up the space and like kind of collides all of the artistic, you know, things together in this perfect symphony. One of our couple is a painter, and she or he does great work. <laughs> really good work. And the other partner is a musician. We had Fermental that I worked with to do all of our custom muraled wallpaper, so the walls have a lot of pattern and a lot of color. The wallpaper, it's very pop art inspired. In the center, we have an area where you can hang out, you can relax, you can you know, kind of reflect on what's happening. This is a place for color and creativity and, and to dream, and to dream big. This is our chinoiserie wallpaper from Fermental. We did a, a custom color for our couple here because we a lot of times do do custom colors. <laughs> so we had a little fun with it. This is actually the bed that I designed for Savoie, and it's called Stella. And Savoie made me a mini Stella wrapped in Pierre Frey Teddy Mohair. So, I mean, dreams do come true. Meow, meow. Here's the baby. Look at his eyes. They're icy blue. His name is Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> We go into our master bath, which I think is so pretty. It's got a lot of neutral colors. It's a nice balance between all of the dramatic color, which is in the master. It's very creamy. It's got taupe underlays. It's got some gray underlays. We kind of bring the thread of color through on the bathtub with just a pop of this bright cranberry red. We've wrapped the walls with this really great um, black and white mural from Fermental, which kind of emulates what's happening on the outside, the, the, the earth around us, um, the trees, um, the landscape. So it really, it's all about sort of like bringing the outdoors in. I used to live in London and I fell madly in love with Aga stoves and now they're here in the States. And this is our Aga stove in an oxblood color. This stove actually in real life, if you keep it on, this is always on and it warms the whole house. And it was one of my favorite purchases this year. Her mental wallpaper surrounds the walls and this is all hand painted out of England. These are the new hot color, this palette that's in our living room, which is like, it's got a lot of putty, terracotta, sort of nude, neutral skin colors, pops of black, rich gold, rusts. The amazing John Pomp chandelier that was custom made for us, which is quite exquisite. It hangs over this very chic, sort of like Brazilian-inspired suede sofa that sits on top of this gorgeous rug from the rug company. It's mixed with silk and wool. So it gives it kind of that like layered, cool, luxe feel, but very relaxed, not too precious. And then we have this eternal boa tapestry, 
which has actually not launched yet, so we're at the dollhouse, <laughs> is the first ones to have it. <laughs>